Let's set it up. Scrub a dub dub. Three brushes in the tub. <laughs> channel my name is Kayla if you're new I film beauty lifestyle and travel related videos so if that's something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit the post notification bell so you'll always know when I upload a new video and make sure you follow me on Instagram at just Kayla Michelle as well as Facebook by the same name so as you can tell by the title below I am going to be reviewing the makeup brush washing machine and you may have seen this on other channels. People call them like beauty blender washing machines or whatever. I got this little apparatus from Five Below. As you can see, it was $5 and I just could not pass it up. It was only $5 and it was pink, so of course I could not pass it up. I had to swoop it and see if it actually worked. And I really didn't even know this was a thing. We are gonna try this out today. So I have my nasty little makeup brushes over here as well as my beauty blender. To save us some time, I already put the two AAA batteries in the bottom, so it's, oh my goodness, this little holes. Okay. Oh. So I just put the two AAA batteries in the bottom. As you can see, it's like the typical little screw off thing that you would see in any kind of toy. In my opinion, this is really a toy. So yeah, it's very flimsy and cheaply made. Like this little, the top is, you know, falls open and closed. This hose has already broken. I just had a trouble just trying to put it back on. But it does hook to the side here. And I guess this is just to keep the water in but i'm not sure because it just keeps popping off regardless so as a time saver i already have a bottle of warm water because it does say use some soap and like one third cup of water i'm just gonna eyeball it i'm not doing a measuring cup type of deal here so we have all, all, all of our materials so i'm just gonna be using some hand soap to put in there this is just some dermasteel soap that i got from dollar tree and yeah the first item we're gonna try to clean off with what the I've seen the most so this is so crusty I don't, I don't even want to do that one <laughs> so I have this real technique sponge as you can see it is very used right now it's supposed to be pink but it is like a Neapolitan color right now it is brown and pink and there is gl glitter I don't even know where the glitter came from but we're gonna put this in here and see Okay, so hopefully you guys have a better view. I kind of set it up here so you can see, but I have paper towels here in case things get kind of messy. So let's try this out. So first, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the warm water inside. Hopefully that's one third. I don't know if it's supposed to cover up the beauty blender or not, but now I'm just going to do a couple squirts of soap. Mm, let's do four. I don't like odd numbers. So then I'm going to stick my dirty little beauty blender in here. Let's stick it in face down. Right now it's kind of puffy because I did, I did just use it to do my makeup. So it's a little expanded. And here's a little button to turn it on. So let's see what happens. <laughs> what is okay? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I can't even grab it. Okay. Okay, let me try. Okay, maybe I should get it going beforehand. Mm -hmm. If this beauty blender is doing nothing but absorbing all the water. <laughs> so this is a fail. This Real Technique sponge is too big. So let's just move on. Now let's try a smaller sponge. So this is a little bit smaller, so let's see. We'll place it in there, close the top. Oh, okay. So it's like slowing down. What? 
the washing mechanism is weak. Like, when I take the sponge out, it moves, but when it's in there, it doesn't move. It's like, it's absorbing the water and, you know, so beauty blenders, I'm gonna give that a thumbs down because that sucks, that's terrible. Okay, so the beauty blenders were, were a big fail. Also, this little hose here that I keep talking about keeps like coming out. Yeah, that hose keeps coming out and the water's getting everywhere. So now we're just gonna move on and try some makeup brushes. So I'm gonna pour some more water in here because we poured the other water out. Thanks to my lovely assistant over here. And I have one more squirt of soap, even though it is kind of already sudsy. So let me just use this brush right here. Just gonna use this brush and then we're gonna put it in there and see what happens. Okay. I'm starting to see some pink in the water and the little thing. So I kind of have the brush like, oh, it's getting clean. I got the brush like on the little spinning mechanism. So let's check it out. Hold on. We might have just did something. Oh, it's so soapy, but okay. Compared to what it was, it's a little clean, you know, okay. I probably put way too much soap in here, y'all, honestly. I like that. I mean, that's relatively clean. Like it can definitely probably use some more TLC. So yeah, this could definitely use a little more TLC, but for the most part, like, I mean, it's getting kind of clean. So, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna move on to another brush and I'll try to do some heavy cleaning later, but this is the next brush I'm gonna try. As you can see, it has been well used, so let's try this one. Let's set it up. Scrub-a-dub-dub, three brushes in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> This one might be a little more difficult because those dark pigments and eyeshadows are a little harder to get off. So I'm still trying to put it close to the like spinning mechanism so it can get a little scrub action going. I mean, it's getting it a little clean. I mean, it's cleaner than before, but it's not like majorly, but it, I mean, it did something though. It can be like a pre-wash. And then also, I know some of them are like kind of stained just because of the dark colors I use, but yeah. So this one, these next few brushes are really gonna show the strengths and show if we're actually making progress. I use this brush for my concealer to like, you know, blend it around my eyes and things like that. So it probably doesn't look crazy, but it's very caked up. And this is actually, you know, supposed to be much lighter. So let's test this out. This little spinning mechanism is real weak. Like whenever I get too close, it stops. ASMR. <laughs> so the water is looking a little murky. Like it's kind of getting it out. So let's see. I would say it's kind of working. 
because the water is getting a little dirty down there. I would say it's kind of working, but this is definitely not like a miracle cleaner, guys. And honestly, I feel like this is a toy for kids to put their Barbie clothes in and they just slapped it in the box and said it was a beauty blender cleaner and they're just playing with our emotions. Because if I was a kid and I had this for a toy for my Barbies, it would be water everywhere. Honestly, if you can see that, it's honestly getting brown. Little squirts of soap. I think three is enough because I really have a heavy hand. So let's get one of my nasty brushes over here. I can't even get close to it without it stopping. Yeah, this is a big old fail. It's still hard and crusty. <laughs> it's still hard and crusty. Like you can slightly see the makeup trying to come out just because it feels water and soap upon it but i'm gonna have to run that back turbo okay that sucks so let's try a softer brush so all in all guys as you can see um that little makeup washing machine makeup brush washing machine beauty blender washing machine is a fraud <laughs> I think it might work a little okay for eyeshadow brushes and things like that. But as far as really putting your investment into this, like if you see somebody selling this and they mark it up, and I'm not trying to take anybody's coins from them, but I just want to be very honest with my audience. I probably would not recommend this. It's cute and fun. Will I use it again? Maybe. Will I let my daughter have it? Probably. And yeah, I would probably give this a four out of 10 only because I think it's okay for like probably everyday cleaning. If you don't let your makeup brushes get caked up, it's probably okay for that. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have tried any crazy beauty apparatuses that we all need to try out. If you have any suggestions, any suggestions comment down below and i will try to try those items out and we can test them and see this was so fun and something different for my channel so i, I really appreciate anybody that has taken the time to watch this so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i love you and i will see you in my next one bye guys